to evaluate the cognitive function of our patient, we can perform such tests as cognitive evoked response, for example, P300 or mismatch negativity tests. Note that in the P300 paradigm, you should keep uh, the active attention of your patient. For example, the patient should count rare deviant stimulus between uh, non-target and non-rare stimulus. And uh, in normal function cortex person, you will get the additional white positive wave with the latency near 300 milliseconds. And in the mismatch negativity test, you don't need to get the active attention of your patient, so you can evaluate a function of cortex structure in such patients, for example, in coma or in little children or in other types of um, few contact of non-contact patients. Now we are in the main program window for this test. Check the impedance. It is good. And uh, see the settings. The stimulation rate we can change if we want, for example, make more rare stimulation. And uh, to increase the epoch analysis window for example, make it more wide. We can see also hardware parameters. Again, I recommend you to switch on all the filters to minimize the noise if the condition is not ideal. Here you can see the standard stimulus parameters. The frequency is low and the deviant more higher. Please uh, note that they use only one channel and our active electrode connect to the minus channel, so negativity will orient in upward. Start acquisition. Note that in this type of test the patient should not pay attention at the stimulation. It can also view uh, a movie without sound, for example. Um, because it is uh, this test evaluates automatically detection of minimal um, difference in stimulus. It is automatically processed. Now we almost finished the averaging. We can press stop and save if we want before ending. Now we have a high amplitude responses. We can change here the visual presenting and here here the mismatch wave on the curve of deviant stimuli. Here we can see the latency. It is normal. Now let's save and perform another cognitive evoked potential test P300. Choose template. Note that in this kind of test your patient must pay attention on a sound and uh, he should count uh, the target stimuli. Also, if you have the patient button, the patient may um, push the button on the target stimuli. Ok, instruct the patient. Electrodes here, we also connect active electrode to the minus channel of our amplifier. See the settings here. Stimulation rate, analysis time window, stimuli count probability of target stimulus and the patient uh, wait time. Hardware settings, the filters is on and the parameters of meaningful and non-meaningful stimulus. As I have said, target stimulus is high tone. Let's our patient hear it in the headphones. Okay. Check the impedance. It is good. 
and start the stimulation. The low curve is averaging curve for the non-meaningful, non-target low stimuli. And the high curve is um, averaging curve for target high stimulus. Ask the patient to count or to press a button on the target stimulus. Now we finished. We can uh, filter our curve a little bit to make it more smoother if you want. The initial part is a sensory part and this is a cognitive part start from N2 and P3. We put the P3 markers here orienting downward positive see the latencies here. 